While many of us have been loving the late summer, a highly qualified team have been applying their inside knowledge to how we can all enjoy fuss-free, easy entertaining this winter. Here at In Or Stays, a vintage Sir Herbert Baker designed guest house, Jonathan was about to get the best tips and creative touches to help make these dishes your own. Hi Rebecca. Jonathan. How are you? It Good smells and looks delicious in here. What's on the menu? For the mains, I've got meatballs with some lovely slow roasted tomatoes. Um, in the oven is a Tuscan herb chicken and I'm going to be serving those with some beautiful baby veg. Stunning colours, stunning flavours and they just complement the meats really well. Sounds so amazing. But being winter, every day is a cheat day. So there's got to be some dessert involved. I haven't forgotten your sweet tooth. Okay, I've good, got a good. lovely caramel apple sponge pudding. Yeah. And um, I've got a few surprises for you later as well. Awesome. Wait I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope there's some chocolate in there, but you can keep it a surprise. The secret of a good soup is in the base. Putting time into sauteing fresh onions, celery and leeks until they're soft and release that deep flavour. I don't know about you, when I think winter, I think soup and sitting by the fire and, and eating soup with the family. And we've got butternut, which is a South African favourite. Yes. There's got to be some kind of vegetable soup in there. It's yeah. winter. Indeed. Actually, what I've got here is a low GI lentil and barley soup. And what we do is we source these veggies for our soups from farmers who pick the veggies at peak of season so that they've got the best flavour. You guys work really hard behind the scenes to make it easy for us. We don't have to labour over the stove and it just, it's just got all that authenticity that we like to yeah, remind us of home. Exactly. We're actually serving ready-made soups today. What I do do is just personalise them with my own little finishing touches. And in this case, we're using some lovely leeks wrapped in bacon. And you serve those as a garnish. They're a great alternative to bread. Awesome. Let me give it a quick taste here for us before our guests arrive. Uh, excuse me. You can wait till later. It not really feels like home. It's just snapping <laughs> my hand. It's like my mom when I was trying to steal all the ingredients. Add your own signatures, like baked butternut slices, rubbed in honey, olive oil and Malay spices to add to the soup. Or serve a minestrone in scooped out toasted bread rolls. But with this Italian flavoured chicken and the finest South African lamb, leave plenty of room for the mains. Unbelievable. Look at the way the meat's falling off the bone. This must have been cooked for at least 8 to 10 hours. My mom used to labour in that kitchen for my father to make this meal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we've got here are some beautiful slow roasted lamb shank. They're part of the easy to cook range, which means everything's done for you. You simply have to pop it in the oven and you know it's going to be perfect for you every time. Amazing. My dad's going to be so jealous of this meal. But now, I've been thinking of that little uh, chocolate dessert that you mentioned. Oh, it's been, the suspense is killing me, basically. <laughs> well, so, I do have a little surprise for you. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is chocolate. Okay, can't wait, can't wait. A lovely, it smells incredible. chocolate mm. dessert for you. Unbelievable, look at that. Using the easy to bake chocolate mix. Yeah, another quick and easy one, I suppose. Quick and easy, and some just some lovely dark chocolate chunks that have oh, been melted see that. on the top. Oh, you can see those sitting there. Oh, I'm very tempted to, but I know you'll smack me again, so I'm going to withhold myself. Well, yeah, I think our mates will be here soon, <laughs> so you can taste it shortly. With friends coming round for Sunday lunch, the best part is you don't have to spend hours in the kitchen for the kind of food that brings people together and warms them up from the inside out. The ingredients are seasonal and the chicken, lamb and South African wine along with the chocolate dessert and fresh raspberries and baked apples and custard are a toast to just how good our homegrown favourites are.